hello welcome back to my channel and it's been a while since i've posted in this channel i think it's been two years to be exact for this video i am gonna play don't start together and i will show you my base for 200 plus days that i survived and the 2000 plus days that i survived so i'm gonna show you two servers and just gonna compare what my base looks like for 200 days and for 2000 days so if you're interested please keep on watching okay so here is my other base and we are at day 200 and here this is kind of new and i just play it by myself so i don't really have much and i only survived 200 days so i'm gonna show you what it looks like so here is the map and i am not around the spawn area i chose to be close to some beefaloes so here is the entrance of my base here it's not too big but when you enter I have an area here for all of my weapons and armor just collect them here and I just have everything that I need in this little area so these are all my saplings and this is my kitchen because uh, I am playing mostly by myself I only have three crock pots and two fridge in here of course my bonfire here's my machines and on top is my tent and I found this celestial orb here is my drying rack very important for big food and I planted some of the reeds in here too so it is a very compact but I have everything I need in this base so of course food is important so I have all my berry bushes in here and my juicy berry bushes on the side so I would have plenty of fillers I also have this cage for like a trap in here here is my grass farm when I need grass just right next to all of my stuff and all of my stuff in here are in the chest area I'm gonna add some more here on this space so I don't have that many yet, but I've uh, arranged them here. I have one bird in this base. That's uh, good enough for me for now. Also, I have this bulbous light bulb in here around. I caught it. I caught them all from the cave that's close to my base, so they provide light. So I don't have to worry about lighting in here. I found them early on in the game, so I was so lucky. Here is Glomer. I place him here for the meantime. So here is also my marble tree farm in here. We only have a few of them. This is when I build my armor, my marble armor suit here. This is, this is two of my mushroom planter. I have plenty of fillers, so I really, I really don't need that many. This is furnace. My furnace is very important during the winter and when it's raining. So I think the only boss that I've fought in here so far is the dragonfly. Because I I'm just focused on building my base and having everything I need. And dragonfly is the most important early in the game, so he would have the furnace in here very helpful during the winter i have my mini farm in here so this is actually big enough for me because sometimes i can't even keep up with all of the farming so here is my lure plant farm i have like a few of them here it's very helpful when i don't have any meat i just uh, harvest from there so this is my main base it's small but i have everything i need in here so far when it comes to surviving like the food heat and all of my stuff okay, so i also have of course my hound trap right here so these are like the additional fe features that i have in this server so of course we need some traps because the varg also try to chase us also have like 
some additional features in here. So I chose to be right next to the savannah, so I have like plenty of space to upgrade and expand my base. So this far area in here, let me just check. I do have a silk farm. I started my silk farm in here with the bunnies and spiders fighting other here. So that's where I get most of my silk from and some meat and of course some healing. Very important. Silk is very important. Here in the game you can make a lot of crafts with and I also collected quite a lot of uh, bunny man defense here for my silk farm. On the other side, on the other end of the savannah, I do have my honey farm. I only have two for now, two bee box for now. I am planning to add more. And I just planted flowers around the bee farm so that they can produce more bees faster, uh, more honey faster. I'm also going to show you like my mini bees in the cave. Cave is not too far from my main base, like this. So it's very close to my home base. I found the the biome in here early on in the game, and I got so lucky because I get to catch the light bugs in here on this side. Okay, so I decided to build like a small base, so I can stay in here longer down in the cave. It's hard to play with free when uh, you're in the in the caves. So I just have the furnace in here, very important source of light and heat, and just a fridge in here and a pot pot, so I can make food and stay longer in here. And I also have three berry, juicy berry bushes and a berry bush, so I could have like pillars. And like this cave area is surrounded by a lot of grass and saplings anyway, so I didn't replant them. I also have a lot of like like wood in here and light bulbs, light flowers in here, so I didn't have any issues with the lighting. So I'm just gonna add probably a tent in here and maybe some more chests later on. But here is what my cave uh, base look, looks like so far at 200 days. Okay, so this is our base for 2000 days and we survived 2156 days to be exact. I played this server with my sister and we built this base, kind of crazy base because we just did everything that we wanted in this server. So we went a little crazy with the themes and how we wanted everything to look like. So that's what I love about this game is that you can play it however you want. Okay, so I'm gonna get started where the spawn area is. So this is the celestial portal that we have and we have all the essential and important stuff around this spawn area. So in this chest, I'm just gonna show you our medicine, our medication and our healing stuff so if we spawn we have all of our all of our um, healing potions right here so here right next to it is our chest area it is is still a work in progress we are still gonna add some more but we have all the essentials in here it's very basic we just have our machines in here and down here is our drying rack, of course, very important. Right next to it is the kitchen. So we have a couple of crock pots here, three fridges. We have a salt box and all of the essentials. And we just have our giant vegetables here as decoration. Okay, so in here, right next to the celestial portal, we have our bedroom. We call it the bedroom because this is where we sleep if we need to. Let me just feed my pet. I don't have anything. So we also have our wardrobe if we want to change our outfits in here. So this is where we can sleep and we just put like teddy bears in here like Bernie. Just to make it cute. 
So this is also where we have our clothing stuff, like our hats, sewing kit. And in this area is where we have our grass farm with our gecko. So if we want to harvest some grass, we just do it here. Okay, this is where our furnace is for winter time. And then this is... Oh no. If my sister plays Wendy, this is her sister in here. So we just decorated it with a lot of flowers and uh, end table here. This is our bird area. So we have four birds right now. And we just have a scarecrow in there. This is our lazy deserter area. If we want to teleport, we do it here. Okay, so it's kind of messy. Still work. Everything is still work in progress. So this is our chess area. We have giant chess in here. So we have almost all the pieces. This is one of my favorite areas. This is the weapon room. So we have a lot of different kinds of weaponry here and armor for our boss fights, which is my favorite part of the game. So we have different kinds of skin actually here for the glass cutter. We have our best weapons in here. Of course, Wigfried's uh, battle helm and spear. So we have a designated area for that. And here is also one of my favorite areas. I have a lot of favorite areas. This one is the trophy room to display all of our victories from our boss fights. So we have almost all of the boss in here except for the cave boss. But all of the like main boss and raid boss in here, seasonal boss, have trophies. Also, we kind of went crazy on this area because this is our restaurant. So we have tables in here if we have guests. And this is the kitchen for the restaurant. So as you can see, we have a lobster in there if someone somebody wants to order lobster. And we just decorated it like a restaurant. So we have like giant vegetables on the side. And... Right next to it is the pastry shop, like a bakery. So we have all of the sweets in there. Okay, what else? And then in here, we this is the area for our mar marble farm. We made it psychedelic. I think it matches the marble trees. So this is still a work in progress, but this is the area where we put all of our marble trees. Okay, so let's go to one of my other favorite parts and area in our server. So this is because I love farming so much. That's also one of my favorite parts of the game. And when they had the f new farming upgrade, I really went all out to this farm. So this is my farm. My sister really doesn't do farming. So this area is huge. And I managed to, I think, harvested all of the giant vegetables that are available. And I just displayed it in this produce scale here. So everything is displayed. It took a lot of work for that. And I have a fridge in here for this. Oh my gosh, everything is rotten. But this is where I keep all of the seeds and the fertilizer. Okay, so let's move on to the next area. So we have this stone fruit here. This is the, like the avocado farm. So this is where you can harvest unlimited rocks in here. So I just put all of the rocks, the stone fruit that I harvested in this chest. So let's go on this area. So this is our beefalo, year of the beefalo area. So when that event came out, we designated this area for that. So this just has like beefalo statues, 
that created to it and this is where we do our pageant of course and this is where we dress up our beefaloes so this is just an area for them okay so where else we have actually a very scattered base this is our bee farm so we have a lot of um, bee box in here and just surrounded it with a lot of flowers of course Okay, so moving on on this side, we're going back to our main base. This is our hound traps. So we have this different traps in here. Because if we have a lot of people, there will be more hounds. So we just made sure that we have all the traps in here. Okay, moving on. So on this area, we have our mushroom farm in here not a lot of mushroom but i just made this uh, fence cute which matches our mushroom farm in here right next to it this is our beefalo pen so we do have a couple of beefaloes in there it's uh, a little small for them but for now they fit this is also one of my favorites Okay, so this is also one of my favorite areas in my, our base. Cat coon, kit coon uh, play area this is their playpen. So when the year of the cat coon event came out, we just decorated it with the stuff from that event. And it's also decorated with the trophies here of the cat coon and this cat coon figure so i think this is so cute we also have the beefalo dolls in here so that they could play with it and i'm not sure how many cat coons we have here but we have a few and this is where we also play hide and seek with them so this is their area right next to it is the store in here so if we have guests they can just like grab some stuff that they need in here so we have the essentials here like the hammer the rake shovel axe so that is for the outsiders we also have different kinds of headgear in here and this is what we call the bookstore we have all of the like blueprints in here sketches some books let's see what the chest okay what's inside the chest so we have like different figure sketches in here so okay so in here we have our hotel okay so we made a hotel area for like people who wanted to join our servers so this is where they can stay so this is just like a hotel this is the lobby this is the receptionist area we have a deck in here so they can see the view of the grass next door <laughs> so we have different kinds of rooms in the hotel this is the cheapest room because it really doesn't have any anything fancy just the basics crock pot drying rack bonfire in here if you want to stay in here this is the premium room they're gonna have like a tent so there's an extra amenity in there or extra feature and it's the deluxe room where they have a table and a fancier looking tent so that that's the different rooms in our hotel and of course furnace and I'm hungry I need to eat Okay, so now I'm going to show you the weirdest, probably the weirdest area of our base. So, I don't remember what we call this one, but this is the like Halloween town. So, it's just really creepy and dark. So, we have this trees in here. And this is, I think, the nightlight. Yeah, the nightlight in here. And we use this turf, the swamp turf because it's dark and it matches the halloween horror, horror vibe in here and this is really creepy because it has a lot of skeleton in here it's like a, an abandoned like ghost town of some sort 
So, I just put all of the creepy, weird things in here. This is like a mad scientist lab also. So, just a couple of night lights and this mad scientist lab in here from the Halloween event. And just surrounded by my skeletons here. And here, this is some kind of a, like a ritual area for claws in here. I just made it so dark. I love uh, building this area in here. And I just burnt all of the structures in here to make it look like it's an abandoned town. We have a lot of like spider heads. This is where the lunar carats are. So let's see if uh, we can see them. Let's check it out. Okay, if I, if I were to pick this one... So yeah, these are the Karats. So this is the pen for the Karats. They are kind of creepy and I just uh, keep them here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you up here on top of the Celestial Portal. So this is our flower garden. This is where we keep Glomer because she's so pretty. And she kind of matches the vibe of the flower garden here. So this is where we catch butterflies. We have all of our bug nets in here if you wanted to catch butterflies. Okay, and in this area is our like kind of a fishing area if we want to fish for some lobster. Because this is the, the, oh, the lobster, the lobster mound in here. So we do have like our two uh stuff in here the fishing rod and some doors in here okay in here of course very basic and necessary we have our berry bushes okay so up here we do have a swamp area here for our reeds if you wanted to harvest some reeds this is where we planted them or replanted them and we also have some banana in here so this is like the banana farm okay so we are going to the other side of our base so we have more stuff in there like bigger structures so in here is because this is the desert so this is our like campsite in here so we have our fishing rod we have our our tents in here some essentials like the furnace some crock pots if we want to just hang out in this area and fish during the summer. Oh, I'm going to show you also one of my favorite parts of the base. So this is like our second base area. We have all of our essentials like the drying rack if we want to stay in here longer. So this is our beach area. We have a beach area in here. So this is where we chill after our boss fights because boss fights can get stressful. So this is our beach turf in here from Pearl. We have a lot of seashells of course because this is the beach and we have some glass castles in here as decorations. Our bonfire of course and we also have some beach accessories and a sail in here to match our beach aesthetic here. So this is one of our favorite spots to just chill and hang out. Right next to it is our silk farm. This is where we harvest our silk. So we just decorated it with a lot of spider eggs. Because we have plenty and spider heads. So as you can see, this is where our bunny friends are attacking the spiders. So we can get all of their silk. So this has been an effective farm. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff in here, but we really haven't cleaned up this area. This is our pig village. So we have a couple of pig houses in here and we are just baiting them. So they just stay in here because they're always hungry. And when it's full moon, of course, we can kill them for more meat. So this is the pig village. So this is this uh, cage for like a wild animal that we are trying to catch. So I kind of forgot what else we have in here. So I'm just going to explore around. 
So this is our cactus farm. So I just organized all the cacti that is in the desert. Just arranged it nicely in here. Okay, so in here we have the vault goat uh, cage in here. Just have them in here, all of them. If I wanted some of their horns and maybe milk. This is where Ant Lion lives, so this is where we kill him every summer. We just put some extra help here with the catapults, so it'll be faster to kill him. And yeah, we just decorated it with like Ant Lion stuff. Our like aquarium area where we collect all of the fish that we caught. So this is, I think, our latest, one of the latest projects for the base so this is just displaying all of the different species of fish that we caught this is kind of hard because we have to sail in the ocean to catch this fish and so far we only caught like four of them <laughs> four different ones at least but uh yes we are planning to fill all of this with different kinds of fish we are going to the Christmas Village on our way to the Christmas Village next. We really dedicated a huge area for our Christmas Village because we love Christmas and we love how festive the stuff are for Christmas. So we have a lot of like, Christmas trees around in here. This is probably one of the Christmas trees that we have in the village. So we really took our time building and decorating this area in here. Let's just stop by this. This is the carnival. So we have a lot of different carnival items here. Okay, so we built this right next. We built this in the Christmas Village because I think it matches the vibe of the Christmas Village. It's whimsical and colorful and very festive, so this should be in the Christmas Village. So we have all of the knickknacks and carnival items in here, balloons from Wes. I love visiting this area because it's just fun. So if we just want to play some carnival games, we just go here. Okay, it's where the ticket is. Okay, so in this area is our in this area is the heart of the christmas village this is where we will feast because we have all the different kinds of foods in here and i'm really happy that they've included one of filipino christmas um, specialty in here this is the bibinga this is a filipino specialty and this is one of my favorite items in the game because we are filipinos and we are planning to cook all of them in here we are just displaying all of the different dishes for the Christmas feast. So maybe one day we can cook all of them and display them all in here. And I think we are almost done. We are just going to go to our dock area. So this is where we dock our boats in here. So this is where we dock our boats here. And if we want to sail this is our gold and we just have like a lot of lure plants actually in here <laughs> sometimes if we want to stay here for longer we can stay because we have like all of the necessities in here we have crock pot if we want to cook and a tent in here so this is kind of like a campsite also if we want to stay over so we have a lot of like many bases around so if we want to stay in one area at least we don't have to go to our uh, main base 